So it's your boy downsizing. I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. <clears throat> this one right here is a reaction to these racist remarks by Ryan Garcia that truly disturbed me, man. Now, first and foremost, racial slurs of any kind, those are beyond fighting words. It goes far beyond the ring. There are people who have lost their lives over racial slurs like that. And words like that are worthy of a person losing their life over. Now, as far as Ryan Garcia is concerned, that's a street issue. That right there, those words should be taken up in the streets. Yeah, for how he feels, he should be addressed publicly in the streets about that. To go approach those people and let's see if you really feel that way about them when you're right there with them. And it ain't no comfort some no ring. There ain't no safety and security of a ring but your big mouth, boy, and your bare knuckles. And let's see if you can do that on the streets while you're running your mouth, little fool. Now to everyone else, I say this, listen. <clears throat> I know there's a lot of people saying that, you know what, I go in there and I put hands on them, they should just blah, 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 all this, no. The complete opposite. No one should ever get in the ring with him again. And his sponsors should all cut ties with him over that racist remark on some real shit. He should be dropped from all opportunities to make money over that. In the same way that Kanye West got hit for his derogatory and, and, and racist racist uh, uh, tirades against the Jews or whatever, and he got canned, same, same be said for Ryan Garcia, man. That shit should not be tolerated in this day and age. And there should be consequences to his actions. First and foremost, from a business standpoint, like I said, no one should step in the ring with him again so that he can't make no money fighting. And his sponsors should cut ties with him for that, or they should be boycotted for that. Now, as for those remarks, like I said, nah, you hate those people, right? Ryan Garcia, you said you hate them, right? Now, let me see you go run into them in the streets because it's a gang of them where you're from. You got, you got millions of them where you are right there. Now, go over there. They see you go into those neighborhoods, them Crips and Blood neighborhoods, all them neighborhoods over there where there's number black. Let me see you go run your mouth like that. Don't do it on the phone when you're hiding somewhere, boy. You ain't bad, little boy. Ain't nothing about you bad, little boy, because you're going to run from that now. We know you're going to run from that. Like I said, those words are beyond fighting. Now, I want to see you take that to the streets, boy, and go deal with the consequences of your big mouth. And to everyone else, listen, please don't group everyone into what that little boy said. Not even his parents are responsible for the ignorance of that goddamn child. He is responsible for what he says and does, and he should be account held accountable for it, man. We need not group everyone into what those ignorant racist people on all sides seem to seem to want to drag us into. That's on him, bro. It ain't got nothing to do with no one else. It ain't got nothing to do with a whole group of people either. None. That's him. He's accountable for his own. Peace. And I'm out.